We have seen how Poisson's approximation to the binomial was inspired in the context of rare events, where the success probability was small in a sequence of coin tosses. This gives rise to an approximation, a function, a mass function, of an integer parameter k indexed by a parameter lambda. Now, this in our more formal elaborate notation was what we called in the previous slides PO of k and lambda, but now that we are dealing in the context purely of the Poisson and without the parameter p to confuse as a possible success probability, we'll dispense with a more elaborate notation. And write simply, going back, reverting to our notation for mass functions, p of k or p of k and lambda to denote a particular mass function of the Poisson kind. Now, while originally this, these approximations arose, as I mentioned, in the context of rare events, as we saw in the later examples, the, these approximations arise naturally as models of phenomena where there are arrivals in time at random instants. Distributions of random points in space. Think, for example, about the distribution of wars in time. Think, for example, of the distribution of bombs landing on London. And it became clear over a fairly long period of time that the Poisson approximation was going to take on a life of its own, was going to become an important distribution in its own right. And this leads us now to considering the Poisson, particularly in the context of arrival processes, where you have arrivals in time, at random point in time, giving rise to an ensemble. Okay. So the picture we have in mind is something like this. Imagine that time is flowing to the right, and that you have arrivals of people, packets, cars, arriving at random point in time, and filling up, let's say, the time axis. Consider, if you will, a unit of time let's say, one hour, or one minute, or ten minutes. Fix that unit of time. A natural question then becomes, how many arrivals are there in this unit of time? And this is precisely where the Poisson distribution comes into play. So, let's start. A Poisson variable. Then, think of a chance experiment which produces a value, an, a non-negative integer value, which has an implicit sample space as an unbounded collection of non-negative integers. Of course, naturally, the question is, what is the probability measure on this space? And clearly, we have a discrete space. And the natural measure is given by a mass function, which assigns to atoms. In this case, the atoms of the distribution are the isolated integers k. And to each integer k, we want to associate a probability. This is precisely what we call the Poisson probability, p of k and lambda. Underlying this experiment is a fixed underlying positive parameter lambda, which governs, if you will, the rate at which arrivals are happening in this experiment. So, formally, we will say the outcome of this chance experiment is a Poisson variable with parameter lambda, its mass function, Hiding the lambda for the time being is p of k given by the Poisson form, e to the power minus lambda times lambda to the power k over k factorial. Now, naturally, we should verify that this indeed is a proper and bona fide mass function. But of course, we have already done this. We've seen this in Tableau 6.1 as an example of a mass function. What do we have to verify? Well, first, positivity, but this is trite. The exponential function is always positive. And second, normalization. But this, as we've seen, arises naturally as a consequence of the exponential series. The sum of lambda to the k over k factorial is exactly e to the power lambda, and therefore, this series is properly normalized to unit. We now have a bona fide distribution on our hands. This is the Poisson distribution with parameter lambda. The context, 
The overlap with the binomial is in the setting where we have rare events, success probabilities are small. In that regime, the Poisson and the binomial overlap. But the Poisson stands in its own right to capture settings where you have arrivals, arrival processes, queues. Given such a function, it is natural for us to examine it closely and discern its key properties. And naturally, the first thing it'll want to do is visualize this function. So let's begin. So we start with the Poisson probabilities. Here is your distribution. And on your screen are displays of the Poisson probabilities for three particular choices of the parameter lambda, lambda being 2.5, 7.3 and 12.4. Of course, you understand that by virtue of proper normalization, all of these probabilities for a given lambda must add to 1. Certain features are broadly immediately visible, and superficially they are similar to the kind of features we have seen for the binomial distribution. For 1, for any choice of lambda, the distribution appears to be unimodal. It increases and then decreases. The distribution appears to have a center, an expectation, a probabilistic center of mass, centered at or very close to the value of lambda. The distribution is spread out around the center of mass, around the expectation, and the spread seems to increase as the parameter lambda increases. And finally, there is a bell curve which looks like an approximation to these probabilities. And of course, none of these are accidental, and we will turn to examining each of these properties next.